How do you usually feel in the morning when you wake up? Perhaps you've tried a morning routine, but you haven't been able to stick to it, or you don't really understand what the point is. One thing I've noticed about morning routines is that once we're really clear about the benefits, and once we understand why we might be resistant to a morning routine, things really begin to shift in our lives. So let's dig into morning routines today. First of all, I want to explain how the brain works and therefore why you may be resistant to a morning routine or you keep falling off the wagon. And then I'm going to explain how a morning routine can help you achieve what you want, help you live the way that you want, help you create, help you earn the way that you want. If you like the sound of that and you're new here, then you might want to consider subscribing to this channel because that's what we're about here. So. The first thing is to be really clear about how the brain works. We are programmed in our minds to conserve calories. So that means that if we think something several times, if we do something several times, if we feel something several times, what the mind then does is it creates an autopilot version of that. So if we're regularly thinking in the mornings, I don't wanna get out of bed, the brain is then gonna start automatically thinking that at that specific time of day. And these autopilots or these programs, they start very early on in their life, in our lives. So if you're anything like me, like I was when I was a kid and I was woken up to go to school, I would always feel really reluctant to get out of bed. But also something really specific for me, I would always feel really sad that the night was over, that my time in bed was over. So for me, I found it really challenging at, at first to develop a morning routine because I would wake up with just this huge existential sadness and I would be like, oh, I'm too sad. I'm too sad to start a morning routine today. I don't wanna get out of bed today. And I would think it'll be different tomorrow or I'll make it different tomorrow. But the fact is all of this was an autopilot. So I was simply waking up with the same thoughts with the same feeling and I was doing the same thing, which was pulling up my duvet, turning over and wanting to stay warm. So I think it's really useful to understand that the brain is going to automatically keep doing what it's always done in the morning unless you start to change it. And that's the benefit of a morning routine, my friends. It's your ability to start to say, this is how I wanna think in the morning. This is how I wanna feel in the morning. And this is what I wanna do in the morning. Now, please understand that it is not something to do once and then to expect dramatic change thereafter. It is a daily practice. That's why we call it a routine. And that's why we often fall off the wagon because our mind is trying to go back to what it was doing on autopilot. So you need to do it enough times so that your new morning routine becomes your new version of autopilot. It becomes your new program. So when I start working with a client and we often look at how they are in the mornings, I will start to ask them, how do you want to be in the morning? And let me tell you, this isn't a question that they can answer straight away and answer completely easily. Now, it may be that you know exactly how you want to be in the mornings, but it may be that you're like unsure. It may also be that you experience resistance here. And that is simply your mind wanting to keep doing what it's done before. Remember, it wants to conserve calories. It doesn't want to change because change requires more calories. Your mind is trying to serve, conserve calories and basically save your life. So when we're resistant to change or we're resistant to a morning routine, we will hear things in our head like, I'm not a morning person, I hate mornings, morning routines suck. And we take these thoughts as truth. We take them as something that is unchangeable. But really that is simply the mind wanting to stay in its current autopilot. So as I said, this is the benefit of that morning routine. It really enables us to make massive transformation in our brain and it enables us to start getting control of our day once more. So we're not simply living on autopilot. So as I said, 
when I'm starting to work with a client on this area, we look at who they want to be. We look at what they want to think when they wake up. We look at what they want to feel when they wake up. We look at what they want to start doing when they wake up. Now, all of these answers are going to be different depending on who I'm working with, depending on what they want to achieve in their life. And your answers will be different perhaps to my answers. So it's really important to get clear about what your own answers to these questions are. It's not going to be helpful for me to say, okay, do this routine because this is going to enable you to wake up and feel like a total badass, ready to write a thousand words first thing, because that might not be what you want. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through some of the components that I have in my morning routine and why they're beneficial, but I'm going to be as open as possible because ideally I want for you to create your own morning routine. It's not going to be helpful for you to try to do everything that I do if it doesn't have a meaning, if you don't know why you're doing it. So I'm going to explain all of the things that I do, why they're beneficial, and then you can make up your own mind about what you want to bring into your morning. So for me, I have a few components. I have starting with exercise, I have starting with writing, I have starting with reading, I have starting with thinking about my nutrition, and I have starting with contemplation. Now, those are the five components. I might do them in a different order. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through each one. But again, you don't have to do them in the order that I'm taking you through them. You don't have to do all of them, simply to understand that by being intentional or by doing specific things in your morning, you're taking your brain out of the autopilot routine that it wants to simply run and you're taking control of your day. And that means you can start making change in your life. You can start to achieve new dreams and new goals. So starting with all of these components for me means that even if I do wake up and I have that feeling of sadness, which I still sometimes have from time to time, or that feeling of lethargy, um, I now know that this doesn't define me. As soon as I get on track with my routine, it really lifts me out of this place. So I find exercise is super beneficial because for me, straight away in the morning, exercise, it basically lifts my mind out of my body. So what do I mean by that? If I wake up and I'm feeling quite sluggish or I'm feeling quite tired, that's my body, that's the energy in my body. And then what can happen is my mind sort of jumps on that bandwagon and is like, yeah, you know, didn't have a great night's sleep. I don't know, like I feel like I need an extra couple of hours. So my mind is basically listening to my body. As Soon as I start to exercise, I free my mind from my body because my body starts to feel more energized, my body starts to feel more powerful, and that frees my mind from that autopilot. So suddenly I'm starting to think, whoa, you know, bring it on. Like, what's the day got? Like, I'm feeling really pumped up. Now, the exercise doesn't have to be significant. You can start with some stretching. You can start with a gentle walk, or you can be more powered about it. You can jump on an exercise bike, or you can go for a run. So again, my exercise isn't exactly the same every day. Sometimes I start with yoga. Sometimes I start with a walk. Sometimes I start with stretching. But at any point, I will start with movement. I will make sure that I move myself. Sometimes I start with dancing. I love to put songs on in the morning and just to really get pumped up with a dance. So your form of exercise can take any. So another component of my morning routine is meditation. Now, it doesn't have to be meditation for you. It might be more of a time to be in contemplation. It might be a mindfulness practice. It might be breath work where you are focusing on doing a specific breathing technique. But for me, this practice really counteracts my mind wanting to slip back into that autopilot, wanting to basically tell me that I don't really feel like waking up, wanting to tell me that I just don't think today is gonna go well. I have a very overactive mind. My mind can be very, very busy. So as soon as I wake up, I find myself thinking and often overthinking about things. So 
taking time to meditate, it really helps me start to see and hear all of those thoughts and to start to just get a little bit of separation from them. So rather than those thoughts kind of driving me around my day, so I feel like I'm being driven in a way that I'm not in control of, like negative thoughts or um, overwhelmed thoughts, which I can often have, I just get a bit of space. And so I start to be able to think for myself. Remember I said the mind loves to conserve calories. And so my mind will continue to think the same thoughts that it's thought my whole life unless I stop, reflect, meditate, and start to really get aware of the thoughts that I do want to be thinking. So again, it doesn't have to be long. A 10 minute practice of just following your breath or a 10 minute practice of repeating a mantra is enough to really just create that little bit of silence, to create that little bit of space between you and all of those automatic pre-programmed thoughts so that they're not controlling your day, so that you control your day and you're putting your dreams, you're putting your desires, you're putting your projects first. So the next component is reading, taking a little bit of time to read in the morning. And again, what this does is it starts to put things in. So the beautiful benefit of this is that you are increasing your repertoire. You're increasing your repertoire of thoughts. You're making yourself have more opportunity to be imaginative and creative. You're basically nourishing your mind. You're feeding all of the cells up here. And so again, your brain is gonna be less likely to keep thinking and doing the same things it's always done because you're putting new ideas, you're putting new learning, you're putting new thoughts in. So again, even 10 minutes a day, it doesn't have to be long. You know, again, some people have very long morning routines. My morning routine is, is very long but it doesn't have to be long to really start to see those benefits. So 10 minutes of exercise, 10 minutes of meditation or contemplation or breath work, 10 minutes of reading, all of this is going to start to enable you to have control, start to enable you to think differently, to feel differently and to start acting differently. I then find for me that writing is a huge component of my morning routine. So this isn't necessarily all of the writing that I do during the day, but I like to find a portion of my morning routine to simply write. Now, this is often writing that I'll do in my journal, and it may be that I start to write some of my goals for the day. It may be that I start to write about how I wanna to feel today, how I want the day to go. So notice my writing is about looking into the future and I find that really useful, <clears throat> excuse me, I find that really useful to do first thing in the morning because again, it takes your head into a very focused place. It starts to get you to look and starts to get you to be really clear about how you want the day to go. And again, that's going to enable you to have more control over the day. Do you ever get that sense of the day just kind of running away or you got halfway through the day and you don't really know where the day's gone or the day just gets handed over to other people in your life and you're thinking, you know, what about me? What about my time? So I find this practice of 10 minutes in the morning to just really start thinking about where you want to focus your attention to start thinking about what you want to achieve that day, to start thinking about what a perfect day would be like, to start thinking about things that you could be grateful for that might happen during the day. It's a beautiful way to really start to have a profound impact on your day and therefore you're going to be achieving better results, you're going to be feeling better as the day goes on. So really, really, a really, really important part of my day. The last component of the morning routine is nutrition. Now, again, I'm not going to go into specifics of my diet, but it's really important to think about what you're putting in your body and what's behind that. Now, if I think about how I used to wake up in the mornings when I wasn't really living the life that I wanted, I would just simply automatically remember the mind wants to be on autopilot. I'd automatically drag myself out of bed and automatically just drag myself into the kitchen and I'd be eating the same breakfast every day. I wouldn't really be thinking about it. I wouldn't really be enjoying it. I wouldn't really be 
present or I wouldn't really be conscious of what was going on around me. I was just in this autopilot program. So the more we seek to be aware and in control, the more our mornings and our day ahead can be really beautiful. And so when we start to think about nutrition first thing in the morning, we're much more likely to have a successful nutritious day, i.e. we're much more likely to be aware of what we eat throughout the day because we set that habit first and foremost in the morning, that habit to think about what we're consuming, to think about the way that we're consuming. Are you eating breakfast standing up whilst watching something on TV whilst scrolling through your phone? Or have you made time and space in your morning to sit at the table to put things out so that you can see pleasant items of your breakfast laid out before you, to enjoy the flavours of the things that you're eating, to enjoy the sense of fluids and liquids coming into your body. So for me, this nutrition part of my morning is about the way that I'm nourishing myself. It's reminding me about the way that I feel about myself, that I feel about my body. It's reminding me to be really present about what I consume. And for the rest of the day, that has such a measurable impact. I find that when I come to lunch or when I come to have a, an afternoon snack, again, I'm much more aware of what I'm doing and I'm much less likely to start eating without realizing or to start eating out of a, just a habit, even though I'm not really hungry. So for me, this is so important, that final aspect of nutrition. So we've looked at exercise, we've looked at meditation or contemplation, we've looked at reading, we've looked at writing, and we've looked at nutrition. And all of those, by having those in your morning routine, are going to enable you to really upgrade your brain. You're not gonna be doing the same things day in, day out, having the same feelings and the same thoughts and expecting your life to improve. You're actually going to be making dramatic change starting first thing in the morning, which is going to ripple out to the rest of your day so that you're going to be able to create the way that you want you're going to be able to live the way that you want and you're going to start earning the way that you want. And if you like the idea of that and if you're finding this work really beneficial, then you might wanna download my free masterclass. You'll find it in the link below. It's a free video. You can start watching it today just by filling in your details and it's going to enable you to create, live and earn just the way that you want. How good does that sound, right? So I hope you found today's morning routines video useful. Let me know in the comments below. Do you have a morning routine? Have you been falling off the wagon? What did you learn today that's given you a sense of how you can create a morning routine or how you can already add to your current morning routine? I would love to hear from you. So pop it in the comments below and we can chat about it. Have a beautiful week and I really look forward to seeing you on the sofa next Monday. Take care till then.